Hey there, guys. Okay, so when you see this, it's going to be Friday. And I will be sending out um, to YouTube all the people that did not, um, are not receiving notifications anymore every time I upload. So I'm going to be sending that out. Okay, hopefully we get some assistance here. Okay, and also what I want to say right away before I forget is that um, think about grabbing a pad and a pen every time you listen to this reading or anybody else's reading because you are getting messages. And so these are general readings. So I'm what's what I'm hearing the loudest is what I'm saying. But there's other you know, there's so many people that are listening and there's so many different guys that want to speak. So um you know, write down what you hear. What you're, you're going to get some some communication. So when you get the communication, write it down because that's the personal messages from your guides. You'll be surprised. And if you're not used to really tapping into your intuition, your intuition will get a lot stronger when you know the angels and guys see that you're actually paying attention. Then they're going to get all excited and they're going to want to tell you more. So keep that in mind. Also, I mean, someone said told me that um they saw my content on someone else's channel so someone's trying to steal my content i'm more worried about you guys um getting scammed so remember i do not charge for personal readings so if someone's asking you any kind of information financial um information do not give it to them because that's a scam and please report them if that's what's happening and they're using my name someone told me it was someone else's channel that you know and it was um a little confusing confusing there but um yeah so okay let's begin okay this is current energies for you guys and so let's see what's happening so this is timeless reading we're starting with the past let's see we have seventh chakra archangel urio here's your crown chakra so you're opened up your crown chakra you're you're tapped into your crown chakra in the past so you might have um, been doing more spiritual work or just really tapping into things here. Let's see what's going on with that. We have Prosperity Begins. Okay, so I hope it, a lot of you guys already have been feeling the prosperity coming in. Because that's what it's saying here. Have, and you're not, start saying some positive affirmations. Because you might be blocking it because it wants to come in here. But let's see what's going on. Let's get more into this. We have here, I don't know why I flipped it. So here was the Seven of Swords. It came up this way. So I'm going to, because I've been doing these cards are like two sides. I'm going to read both sides for some Someone is walking away with the swords here. So someone might be trying to prevent someone from doing something here. Maybe from sabotaging something. It almost feels like someone is intervening with, with, with something here. Someone might be, someone might be trying to stop someone's prosperity. Now on this side, you have the person, you see them, they're looking back. They're trying to get away with something. So I feel like because the way the card came out like that, I had both sides. Someone was trying to get away with something. And I think someone actually caught them and blocked them from doing so. Let's see what else we have here. Because I've been doing it this way. I'm not looking at them. Just pulling them out. Okay. So we, here we have someone might feel guilty for not giving to a situation. I got this. Why do I have this glare? Well, that's better. Okay, so, yeah, so it looks like this, someone needs to give, like, even, even Stephen here, and someone's not, and someone's looking down. What is this, like, houses here? Wait a minute. I had this deck forever, I just don't use it. Yeah, someone, this is like a, okay, so this almost looks like a, a giant looking down at the houses somehow someone feels they haven't given to maybe the community or given to something here this might be someone referring to you okay let's see okay now we have here this is the queen of cups so someone in the past has offered love or wanted to offer love here uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it could be any sign. So yeah, someone was yeah, someone was holding back, um, stealing or trying to prevent stealing. There's something about even give and take, and not not providing. I feel like someone feels like they didn't provide like they should. Just maybe someone that was offering a lot of love here. 
Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Very loving, caring energy. Also very intuitive. Okay, that's the past energy. And we have here, there's going to be some kind of community, or there was, I'm sorry, past. There was communication. It also could have been spirit communication. Someone could have been told, you know, you have to do something here. We have here love, lying, career, soulmate. Okay, so somehow it feels like someone was, there's love here, but someone was lying about their career to their soulmate or about their career soulmate. You guys could rearrange those words to make more sense. Like I said, this is where the pad and the pen comes in handy because as I'm saying this, you are getting information pertaining to your specific situation. Okay, let's see what's going on in the present. Happy family. Okay, there's happiness around the family life. That's good. If, if you're not feeling it, you're about to feel it. And we have it. But there's destruction. Oh, wait a minute. This is like the tower. There's something going on within the family here. The happy family. Something's being disrupted. Something, something's coming in. It almost feels like an uh, outside um, situation, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Something could be revealed here. We have here. Okay, so this is... This is the King of Swords. Yeah, this is the King of Swords. But someone... It feels like someone's turned their back on someone here with the King of Swords. This could be... um. Maybe someone didn't tell the truth, and now someone's upset. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the King of Swords. It could be anyone here. The King of Swords wants the truth. We have here, someone might be cutting someone out because I didn't tell the truth within the family. This is going on right now. Mm, okay. That charms a scissor. Okay, we have here... But there is an offer coming in here. Page of Pentacles to this person. To you, maybe. Yeah. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a job opportunity, an offer. There might be... I mean, it could be a love offer, too. This person could be younger, too, with the page. Or act younger. Could be like, you know, they just have been young at heart. Um, let's see. Oh, look at this. We have other, another scissors. Wow. Now, these scissors remind me of cutting scissors for a hair cutter, a barber, or a hairdresser. And these are more like Victorian scissors, if that makes a difference to anybody. Like a more antique -y. Okay. Let me get one more. Hangman. So someone is waiting now. Don't know what to do in the hangman position here. Pisces energy. Um, trying to gain a better perspective. Trying to figure things out. I almost feel like the person feels like they're being watched too. So they have to be very careful. Something to do with disrupting the family. The, the family dynamic or um, the reputation or... Um, there's something that's going on that has been maybe kept quiet, but now is coming out at this time. Of course, we are in Mercury retrograde. The truth comes out. That's better. I'm always moving my light all over the place here. Let's see. Okay. But I want to see too, you know, because if I make it real quick, like you really, really see the pictures. I can't see anything. Let's see here. The King of Swords. We have... Pleasure, the end, obsess. Ooh, so there might be the end of someone's pleasure, someone's obsessed about someone or something. Um, you could rearrange these words any way you want. 
obsess about the end of pleasure. Maybe someone's really obsessed that some, something has to come to the end here. And it was something that was really pleasing to them. Let's see about the um, Page of Pentacles. We have family. Look at that. Never excited. Oh, the family was never excited about whatever's going on here. So that's why they might be making someone put the end to something. Because it's disrupting the family. And then this person, whether this is you or someone else, is really trying to think. It almost feels like, okay, I almost feel like someone is at, um, it's like a, a major decision. is do or die type of thing. It's like them or me almost feels like. So is this like something to do with a love connection? And someone has to pick family over the love of their life? Hmm. Or it could be something else. It could be a career. Because we do have career up here. We have love up here and we have career. Someone was lying about And then with this coming here, I would think they're connected somehow. So either someone's lying about something about their career or what they're doing or about love. So let's go on to what's hidden here. What's the hidden influences? Yin yang, something trying to balance something out. Someone is trying to make things just work here. So, um, something might be trying to balance out that you don't see it. This might be the universe trying to balance things out for you. Let's see. There's gonna be, yeah, see, it feels like the universe has your back and they want to make things work for you. So, they're trying to, there's gonna be a celebration here. They're working on this for you. So don't give up here. Don't give up hope that things will work in your favor here. Because it looks like you don't see this, but it's something is happening here. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we have here this is the king of wands. So this could be your energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be anyone, but someone that's very charming, good looking. Um, this could be who's helping you, or this actually could be someone's trying to help you or help you with someone else. I'm also a strong leader with the King of Wands. Um, it's like the King of Wands attracts attention. Like all eyes, when the King of Wands comes in the room, all eyes are on this King of Wands. Male or female? Let's see, we have here. Oh, we have the cleaver. What is this with this cutting out? There's someone that has to seriously cut. Look at this, we got a cleaver. Now the cleaver could be a chef, could be a butcher, or someone that uses a cleaver. Or it could just be referred to something has to be chopped out. And that's the way this King of Wands feels like. Maybe that someone, something or someone has to be chopped out. Wow. Okay, we have here. Okay, here's the Ten of Wands. This is someone moving forward with the Ten of Wands. This one is like carrying it with them. This one feels like someone's moving forward. I almost feel like this person is moving this forward and then they're going to be able to drop it off. But they have a good handle on something here. They have a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibility, but it feels like they have a good handle on it. And also, when the Ten of Wands shows up, it's usually the end of something with being a Ten. Let's see, we have here, this is the, oh, there's a third party situation here. We have the Three of Swords. This way you see it through the heart. This way, it's like it's already been done. So it's already been done, and maybe that's the ending here. Someone might be cutting out something that is interfering with something here. And this could be this third-party situation. But this is something that you're not seeing, or something that maybe spirit guides and angels are helping you. But there is going to be a celebration. Someone's trying to, something or someone, something hidden is trying to bring something in balance here. Okay, let me get that word on the King of Wands. But the third party could be a person and if you have a relationship, it could be someone interfering in your life in some way or something, outside influence. Okay, we have here likely karma, confused, mature. Okay, so likely someone's confused about the karma that they're receiving, but they're maturing or this has helped them mature, if that makes sense. But here, like this, okay, this could be anything. This could be drugs, this could be alcohol, this could be gambling, this could be lust, this could be lying, um, it could be jealousy, obsessiveness, 
fear, anything outside of a connection or something you're trying to do. Something that doesn't belong there is what I feel in this thing. So something, I feel like the universe is helping you work through this, whatever this is. Okay, so now let's tap into your energy. Let's see what we have going on in your energy. Oh, why do I get these cards here? Wait a minute. <laughs> Those will come out when they're supposed to come out. I grab two. I, you see, I, I don't look at my decks. I'm into what I'm hearing and stuff, and I don't see them. That's why like a lot of times I have them in reverse, and I don't realize that I'm shuffling them with the, you know, what you can see the cards. And um, because I'm really not watching my cards. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, the thinking man. Okay, this is your energy now. The uh, thinking person put it. Could be male or female. So you're thinking. You're doing a lot of heavy thinking about something here. Something's heavy on your mind. Let's see. Mental conflict. Yeah, it's causing you a lot of mental conflict here. It's causing you a lot of um, grief. A lot of anxiety. Trying to make a decision. This is also a two. So it could be like the two of swords. You need to make a decision, but there's something you're not seeing or there's something that is you know i'm looking at this card too i'm seeing you're you're getting these pictures right because here it comes in like a little picture of your head here and then there's all these other pictures so you're imagining all different things coming in like every time one picture leaves you see another let's see what else we get on this Okay, so here's the Seven of Cups. Okay, look, we have a face here. Is that spirit or is that the person you're thinking about? Maybe it keeps on coming up. You may have choices, options, decisions, but there might be something that keeps on showing up anytime you think about making a decision or choice options. If it could be a certain person's face that keeps on, you keep on seeing it and seeing it. You can't get away from it. And we have here, yeah, this is the Four of Cups. Did you miss out on an opportunity of, with love? Did this ship sail? Is it too late? Or you're thinking, well, this because this is your energy, so I'm putting it, you can always reverse it. But here it is. What do you need with the strength to look into? This is like, Opening the lion's mouth here. She has the strength to look in. The lion's very calm, calm around here. Leo energy. I can't. Oof, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> We're in the pre. So, um, having the strength to. Wow. I feel sorry for whoever this is because someone is so mentally conflicted right now. The thinking man, the, the mental conflict, the choices, the confusion, the options. Did they lose out? Did it go? But the, gaining the strength or trying to gain the strength to do the right thing. I, whoever I'm tapping into, they're going through so much turmoil. I feel so sorry for you. It's like this is the energy that you're experiencing at this time. But let's see what we have coming in now. Let's see the influence of others. What we can get on that? Because I feel like there are other people influencing you. It's probably the family here. Let's see. I don't know why I'm pulling out. Okay, I went to the top. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay, so, okay, the second chakra, what you're conflicted about is your creativity. Are you able to utilize your creativity? Is there something blocking you? Um, also, this is sexual, sensual. I mean, creativity is where it all begins, right? We Creation is how we create, how we um, produce, reproduce. And then we have here, you know, your sensuality, your sexuality. Um, some people might be interfering with what you want as far as your sex life, your love life, or what you want to do, how you want to create, how you want to express yourself. Okay, let's see. Is someone helping you or hindering you? Let's see what we get on this. Temptation. Okay, this is the devil card, a Capricorn. Temptation is here. So, the influence of others is 
you're tempted. This this seems very sexual to me. So um, it feels like you might be tempted by another, and that's the influence of the of the other that's coming through here. Let's see what comes up with this. Oh yeah, Ace of Cups. You have a lot of love for someone here. Maybe this is forbidden fruit for you. For some reason. Since you're tempted and you're not able to have it. Uh, you're afraid you're going to be left out in the cold. Maybe this is someone that you really desire, but you don't know if they'll desire if they desire you or if it's forbidden for you to love them. Cuz I'm getting forbidden fruit. They keep on saying forbidden fruit because if you love them, you're going to be disowned. This is a Knight of Pentacles. Very strong Capricorn then. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is a very slow moving night. Someone might be coming towards you, but very slowly, very cautiously. Um... Very concerned about rocking the boat. This horse isn't even moving. That's how slow it is. All the other horses are moving. This one is not moving at all. It's in wait. It's like, okay, I'm waiting for the sign. Give me the sign, I'll come. So the, the affluence of others is something is, there's a temptation here, but someone cannot come towards you at this time for whatever reason. We have here... The dragonfly. There's a very strong spiritual connection here, though. And this person here maybe can um, go to different dimensions. We have, you know, the dragonfly should is supposed to be able to go from the third dimension into other dimensions. They also like, they zigzag up, down, all around. It's like, I feel like this person can be at all many places at once or something. Very intuitive, I think. That's what it must be. Let's see, um get the word here we have Mary revealed forget so some someone's married here is being revealed and someone needs to forget them because of that or did someone forget or, or was it revealed that someone forgot they were married I mean you don't really forget but you know what I mean but with that, okay. Okay, we'll leave that there. Let's go on to what should you be doing then? What is your course of action? What should you be doing? Walking away. You need to walk away from something. Something is not good for you. Something you shouldn't do. You need to walk away. Now, you're going to take that. I don't know if you need to walk away from your present circumstances or walk away from... But we do have this temptation coming up here. So you might need to walk away from that. I don't know. It's going to be different for everyone. Let's see. Walk, go, walking away. The waiting game. Okay. So you need to be walking away and play the waiting game. Let's see what else we get on this. It almost saying like you need to wait. You need to walk away and wait. Or if someone's walking away from you, you need to still, still wait. Oh, I'm kind of confused about this. Let's see what we get. Okay, yeah, there's an ending here. Someone is watching something end. It almost seems like you need to watch this end. Or this is this is watching the old you um, disappear and be, being um finish wow this is very intense here so because this would be you probably looking at yourself or you need yeah i would think this is ending something or here we have an eclipse here too something might be significant about the eclipse something ending here something um removing something here wow it might be significant to oh uh, see what happens on the 25th Holy moly. And we have here, and then we have here, this is judgment. So it's like something's ending. And then it's like the, I know, this is, I think this is a phoenix. So there'll be like a phoenix rising. Something coming back to life. Wow, this is very intense reading. Holy moly. 
and then we have here and then you're moving on so it's like you need to so this is what you should do so we have here walking away the waiting game so like you need to walk away from something then wait see what happens with this with an ending here there's going to be a judgment made and it might mean that you have to move on so once the judgment is made this means move on to something better and um, just make sure you don't take the source with you when you move on well you know they're outside of the boat but it's like because sometimes they show it's like attached to the boat it's still attached so you could remove them they're not in the boat it's not like if you take them off the boat sinks you're being guided to move on to move away from something here because there's something ending i don't know you're making the because this is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to make the judgment and something make the judgment and move on okay i'm not gonna uh, stay on that any longer but well i think you'll know what it means let's see about the possible outcome magician and the mirror this is you so you can you're going to manifest whatever you project out is going to come back to you so make sure you keep your thoughts positive say positive affirmation because you're able to manifest a lot now it's almost like whatever you're going through here is like a major clearing a major transformation in order to start your new life i think you're just everything's going to be anew and you're manifesting this so let's see what we have here Patience. Look at that. Sagittarius energy. Patience. Being patient. The waiting game. Being patient. It's like you have to be patient. You can't rush something. But it almost feels like you have to do something here. You have to walk away from something and then wait. And then wait for it to end in order to make a decision and then to move on. It seems like there's steps that have to be taken. Let's see what we don't see coming. The healer of the ages. Oh, I'm getting chills. Oh my gosh, I'm getting such chills. There's healing taking place here. You could actually be a healer here. And this might be, you know, sometimes, you know, all the things that we go through is preparing us for what we need to do. So, you might, you know, we go through our difficulties, but when we go through our difficulties, we come in contact with other people that are experiencing something similar and we know how to help them or handle it or we understand it because we've been through it now i feel like you've been through a lot here but this is preparing you to be a healer and quite a healer here we got healer of the ages and then we have oh look at this this is bringing you in to harmony this is the um the six of cups this is i mean this, this is the lovers I don't know why it says Six of Cups. So maybe that means something from the past. But this is bringing you in a love connection. Whether it's new. A past, an ex. Or it could be someone from a past life. That you're being reunited now. As your energies are coming together once again. Now you could have been together for a lifetime. Could have been together for many lifetimes. But you are reuniting with someone here. Or you're coming together with a true love here. Now we have here. This healing is very strong. It's very powerful. It almost feels like I feel like you guys both are able to. Once you connect. There's like a strong energy current going through you. Oh both of you here. Let's see what we get on this. Um, the magician and the mirror and the patient. Patience. I don't know why I said patient. Here we have the three of cups. Someone's offering something here. There's an offer going up. There's a celebration here. You're going to be celebrating something. But it feels like you had to offer something here. It's offering to heaven. Offering um, to your faith here. A celebration though. And we look at this. You got the magician wow oh my i have such chills okay you are manifesting big time here please keep your affirmations um your thoughts positive and say positive affirmations aries aquarius energy wow you have all the tools you need to make this work you have the magician twice in the outcome that is heavy duty look at the world you have the world here this is like 
completing something to start something you're and you're definitely ending something to start something new you're on a whole new cycle and it's wonderful it's ma uh, marvelous this is going to be like a whole new you're coming out of the darkness into the light you're like really um achieving a lot of success here bottom of this deck will put oh we have here the queen of wands so this definitely could be your energy um this is the queen of wands is a uh, very attractive or this is someone that you're bringing into your life here aries leo sagittarius but it could be anyone here but this feels like you know it's very um a way goer a sh um a sh wait how do i want to say it? a go oh a go-getter, a way-shower. Oh, my God. You know, I always feel Mercury retrograde. The, the, it's the strongest for me in the beginning. This is pre. It's pre-retrograde um, starting on 18th. So, I'm already getting all tongue-tied. So, that, I do always feel the worst in the beginning. Before it even starts. Okay, let's see. We have here Pegasus. There's good news coming here. Okay, so... This could be your energy, could be another person's energy, but it just feels like there's a very creative, dynamic, um, very inspiring energy here. Okay, let me get the words on this. We have here, committed, the X, sincere. Okay, this might be, I, I kept on feeling like a pass here. So the X, again... I mean, the X is usually referred to in this in the lifetime you're in, but sometimes I feel like it could also, for some of you, maybe you're saying, well, I don't have any X that I feel that way about. When you meet someone new and this person feels like you knew them for your whole life when you first meet them, that is a past life connection. So if that's what's coming in, that's what's meant there. Because don't forget, this is a general reading. That's why I encourage you guys to have a pad and a pen to see what messages you get. And again, it's going to help you develop your intuition whether you, you're already using it and, and, and tapping into it, it'll make it stronger. Or if you don't and you're, you know, you're not used to it, you will get better at it. Because once the angels and guys see that you're actually tapping in, they're going to be very excited. And they, they're going to want to talk to you. They're gonna, you. Sometimes it's hard to get them to be quiet. <laughs> Let's see what we have here for signs. Replacement in your chart. Placement in other people's chart. Past, present, and future. We have Libra. Virgo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Sagittarius again, the bottom deck we have Gemini. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Libra, Virgo, Cancer, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, and Gemini. All right, guys. So, there you go. There's your reading. If this did not resonate with you and you just watch your sun, watch your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. It might give you that missing piece, that missing link, the part of the puzzle that makes everything click together for you guys. And um, I just want to thank you so much for all your love and support. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.